Welcome back here to Midday Kentucky with Angela Best here. We're very lucky to have this talented designer with us. We're talking about Thank spring you. fashion trends. Thank you for coming in today. Thank you very much. And you do look very you. springy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just love your outfit. I want this. <laughs> Gorgeous. Thank love you it. Talk to us about um, your style and how you got into fashion designing. Um, my style. I think I'm a little modern with the okay. mix of vintage in there. Um, my mom was sewing um, throughout my childhood and I just kind of would go to the sewing machine whenever she was at work and fit on my way through there. So your mother, okay. your mother was your inspiration? She, my mother inspired Aww. me. Yes. <laughs> and um, who else had some influence on your fashion designing style? Um, everyone. <laughs> yeah, everyone. Yeah. I kind of picked up something mm -hmm. from television, some of my friends. So, so before we see some of the models you brought in today, and I love their outfits, talk to us a little bit about what you're seeing this spring. What are some of the trends out there? Colors and fashion size. Oh gosh, bold colors, okay. um, bold prints as well, uh, stripes, black and whites, you know, that's always chic and never really goes out of style. Mm -hmm. um, of course, the fascinators, now that we're coming up on Derby, you want to see more of that. Yes, that's what I want to talk about. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, you know, I wanted to ask you about accessories, because I don't wear a lot of necklaces and things like that. How important are accessories? Pretty important. <laughs> um, if you don't do the jewelry, there's always a popping handbag. Mm -hmm. And even the handbag. Yeah. So I think that okay, brings I us to do, our first model. Handbag. Let's bring in yes. our first model. Talk to us a bit about the outfit and why this accessory works. Well, this is Charity. Uh, she's wearing houndstooth fascinator mm -hmm. with a blue neoprene dress, um, basic chic style with a cow Very chic, line. I love it. Um, and the hound tooth and leather clutch. It's a cuff clutch, so you can actually put oh, your hand Oh, look how your hand there. goes through. Yes. Oh, I love oh, that. So cool. do you yes. see a lot of bold patterns with the accessories matched with a solid outfit? Yes. Is that really trendy? Okay. Yes, it's very trendy right now. All right. Uh, Thank you. Let's bring this in another <laughs> bold color we have here, and I like this hat. This is Angela. She's wearing a cobalt blue and black fascinator mm -hmm. Beautiful. with the magenta twill dress and she likes to ruffle and fluff. So and you make these uh, dresses, yes. correct? Yes, I sketch them and I make them. And this is a reticulated python handbag. This is real. That is beautiful. I see a lot of bold colors mixed together. Is that a trend yes. this spring? You know, the bright pink, bright blue, yes. things like that? It definitely is. Yes. All right, and you <laughs> mentioned that pattern, so we're about to see some bright pattern here as well. Let's bring that in. And this is actually my mother-in-law. Oh, oh, gorgeous! Hi, Mom. <laughs> Look yes, how pretty she looks. Oh. Yes. So this is a sheet style, also with, of course, the rainbow color scheme, mm -hmm. um, and I call this the little wristlet leather handbag. You don't have to, you know, put your hand there; mm -hmm. it just kind of rests. Where do you find the materials for that? I mean, that is gorgeous. That material is mm -hmm. beautiful. Everywhere. I mean, I shop everywhere mm -hmm. pretty much. Talk to us about the importance of highlighting the waistline. I see that a lot, and they say even with patterns, to get some type of belt. Yes. Talk to us about that, trends there. It typically slims. Um, okay. It kind of covers up some of the things that we as women don't always want to expose. Mm -hmm. um, and initially, the wider belts get more, you know, um, mm -hmm. cover. So definitely, it definitely works. So are you designing these handbags as well? Yes, I am. Let's bring all the models back out here yes. so we can get a look. Talk to us <laughs> about your service. Can people reach out to you with an idea of a dress they want and yes. you'll design it for them? Yes, How does I that do. process work? That's um, pretty cool. Basically, I get the details okay. and I can sketch it out. Or I also have a son that draws a little better than I do. Mm -hmm. So he can sketch it as well. And we um, go through the inside details, the hardware. Um, the skins, if you prefer skins or, or not. So you could get a dress handbag designed. Yes. That would be a nice I gift for someone. That. I love that. Yeah. Yes. Custom made like that. And it's that. custom and I could toss the pattern and you don't have to see it again. How long, how long does that take, um, typically? Typically about three days. Wow. Yes. Love it. Yes. Love it. <laughs> so you're busy prom season. What'd you do? Prom not, dresses? Not so okay. busy right now. More I derby. Other th yes. Yes. I love derby. these hats too. <laughs> well, oh, let gorgeous. everyone know how they can get in touch with you. Sounds like there's still time to get on, order a dress or a hat for derby. Um, you can reach me at my website, v31designs.net, or by cell phone, 859-684-6932. And what are some of the price ranges? Where do you go from with accessories up to dresses? Um, the handbags typically start around $75, $85, and they go okay. up just based upon what you want. Well, that's not bad at all. No. I mean, they're gorgeous. No. Yes. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> well, thank you, ladies, so much for coming in. You thank look you fabulous, ready to take spring on. All look beautiful. Thank you. Well,